Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to get um, a Miku Miku Dance model or an MMD model into VR Chat via Blender. What I'm going to cover here is using the MMD tools uh, tool set, installing the plugin, using the plugin to pull a model in, deleting extraneous geometry that you don't need, and then exporting it to an FBX. Uh, I will cover each of these in a little bit more detail as we go along. The first thing that you're going to need, of course, is Blender. Um, any The latest version will do fine. There's no problem with compatibility uh, because it's just basically a, a model editing tool. Uh, does a heck of a lot more than just editing 3D models, but again, we're limiting here. What we're going to do here is you are now going to go to this site here, github.com slash sugiani sugiani slash blender mmd tools. If you search just for mmd underscore tools on Google or blender mmd tools, it will be one of the first results. Um, but this is the one that you want to get it from. Uh, so this site, uh, if you've never used GitHub before, it's basically a software release site. It's where people can do version control on their software as they're working on it. And then also down people can download the software. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to download it. We're not going to go to releases, which you would normally do for most, um, for most GitHub projects. What we're actually going to do is we're going to download the current version. So go ahead, hit, go ahead and click on download zip and it will download. You can see I've already done it here. Uh, what we are now going to do after that is you come into Blender. You, when you launch Blender, you'll get a splash screen. Just click past it and it will go away. Go to File and then User Preferences right here. Normally, it'll come up to this interface window first. So go ahead and click on Add-ons, which is the fourth tab over, and then click on Install from File. It will bring up a navigation pane um, that will let you navigate to the zip file that you just downloaded. You can import the zip directly. It will extract it and put it in the proper directories. What it will then do is after you've installed it, it you won't have to search. It will actually pop up this for you, but it'll be deactivated. You'll see object MMD tools right here. And if you expand it, you can see a bunch of extra stuff. Um, if you just click on that checkbox, it is now enabled. And if you can look on the left side of the screen there, right here, you can see that a tab is appearing and that is the MMD's tools tab. So we'll mess with that in just a moment. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to delete all the stuff in here that we don't need. All you have to do is right click to select in Blender. Just hit that and then click delete. And we'll do that on the, uh, the cube, the camera and the lamp. We're not going to need any of them. To rotate your view in Blender, just hold down your middle mouse button. Let's go like that. To uh, zoom in and out, it's just your scroll wheel. If you hold down shift while you move uh, your mouse around, you pan. And if you hold down shift while you hold down, while you scroll your wheel, then you move up and down. Try not to like try and move things around by clicking with either left or right. That's, I know that's how it works in Unity and some other tools, but that is not how it works here. Once you get used to it after, you know, fooling around with it for a couple of hours, then it's pretty much second nature. But now we're actually going to import the model. Next thing that we're going to do is go to the MMD tools tab that we have right here, and we can drag this out to expand it a little bit. You'll see that there are a bunch of different things here. Uh, they will change depending on what you have selected, but since we have nothing selected right now, all we can really do is import a model. Could create one, but I'm not that good. So we'll click on import model. We're going to go to my model workspace here, and then we are also going to find a model. Let's do Momiji. That's a good one. So we're going to choose this right here. Um, often they'll come with multiple versions. Um, I'm not really sure what dash, dash H means in this particular case. Uh, you can also see that there are little boxes here. These boxes are supposed to be Japanese characters, but Blender doesn't really render them quite right. Um, but we won't worry about that. You can also mess with some of the settings down here. There's another tutorial video online by one of the Japanese players from VR Chat that messes with the scale. I don't like to do that because it messes with some of the tune shader and cell shading uh, materials that you use in Unity, so you can ignore it. So let's go ahead and import the model. It'll take a second, and then you'll have this. Um, sometimes the model will look gray, sometimes it will have the colors not look quite right, or it'll look you know, a little bit weird, um, but that's okay, we can fix that very easily. Uh, that everything is actually perfectly fine. If you open up this little thing here, you'll see this little plus sign up here. Just click it. Um, don't click it. I mean, I guess you could click and drag, but just click it. Uh, you'll see at the very bottom, MMD shading. If you don't see this, you downloaded the wrong version. Go back and make sure you downloaded the uh, clone or download, download zip of the MMD tools. So we'll go back here, click Shadeless, and all of a sudden we have textures. Uh, these textures are basically like a flat, unlit texture uh, material. Um, if you click on GLSL, it gives a little bit of shadowing. It doesn't really matter. This is only really for our view here in, uh, in Blender. So what we are going to do now 
um, we are going to delete some extraneous parts of the model that VRChat does not use. So if you hit the keys Alt and H at the same time, everything is unhidden. This is true at any point in time. So if you hide something, which is pretty easy to do, you just select it and hit H, it hides it. So that mesh is now gone. If I want it back, including everything else, I hit Alt H and everything is back. You can also hide and unhide things with these little eyes in the hierarchy in the top right here. So if I want to turn off certain parts, it'll work. In this particular case, because of the way it's set out and the way it's mapped out, um, it's not perfect. But, uh, oh, that's why, because this is the mesh. The easiest way to do it, I find, is just to click on different parts in the actual 3D view. But first things we're going to do is we're going to hide the mesh, which is just, you know, the actual character uh, as we visually see it. So hide the mesh. Now you'll see that there are a couple things still on the screen. There are these boxes, which is what MMD calls rigid bodies. Um, there are the bones, which are these right here. And there's also a couple of other uh, things that are present basically that um, MMD uses for things like collision, for physics calculation. We don't care about any of that. Uh, VRChat does not use it. So what we're gonna do is let's hide the armature or the bones, which are these gray things. Again, just by hitting H after I select it. And now you have this thing, which looks like a vague, you know, capsule and box Momiji, but we're going to delete that. I'm going to hit the B key, which gives me a bounding box. This lets me select just like, you know, you could in say like file explorer or something like that, but we're going to do that over everything here and then hit delete and hit okay. But everything's gone now. Oh no, that's terrible. Just hit alt H and everything's back. So all VR chat uses, of course, is just the mesh. And the bones, it does everything else via its IK system. Any collisions are handled by the handled by the Unity uh, Collider system. Blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. Um, now w that we have everything gone that we don't need, we can take a look at what is still present in the uh, the model. This is the armature. Um, this is you can see that this one has a lot of extra rigging. Um, this rigging here is for the hair. This rigging here, I imagine, is for the sleeves. Yep, sure is. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice that on this model. Um, there's rigging for the skirt. There's rigging for some other crazy stuff. Uh, MMDs can be pretty weirdly set up. Um, this one also potentially looks like it could have that hip problem if you bring it into uh, VR chat. So that might take some repair in Unity. But either way, all we really care about right now is exporting it. Uh, and the cool thing is, is we can do it right now. You don't have to do a dang thing. In fact, you probably don't want to delete uh, too many of these extraneous bones. Some of these are twist bones. Um, I'm hitting tab to go in what's called edit mode here, which lets me select subsections of uh, the armature. Uh, and you can just hit tab again to swap out of it. It's very easy. So if you're ever in a mode and you can only select single parts of a greater object, hit tab and there you go. You can now select a whole object. Um, you can delete these twist bones maybe in some cases. Honestly, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, VRChat will just completely ignore them. Um, so no big deal. Uh, the only other th weird thing about this model is that Momiji is actually set a little bit off the ground and I can tell you why. That is because of her sandals. So if you look at and this can, I mean, there's little weirdness things that will happen depending on your model because her sandals are set up off the ground like that her heel is actually set up off about that same distance. So just little cool things that you can see from your model and how it's gonna work and may actually help you in figuring out rigging later on. So before we do anything else, we're gonna make sure we've deleted everything else in this scene except for our character. Uh, render layers and world will always be there. Um, then you have the actual character itself. Um, the reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to export everything as an FBX. You can also just bring the Unity file directly into uh, VRChat. I've done that before, um, or I'm sorry, the Blender file. I don't remember if I said Unity file or Blender file. You can bring the Blender file that you can save from Blender, like its native format, directly into Unity. Um, I've had different levels of success with it. Um, it mostly works most of the time. I actually fall back to it when FBX doesn't work for some weird reason. So anyways, click on FBX. Um, we're going to go to my model workspace again. We're going to go to Momiji again, and we're just going to drop it in the exact same folder. You can name it here. There you go. And now you have a bunch of stuff down here to mess with. Um, you probably want to set your presets to this and you can save it doing that little thing that I did right there. Once you set your presets, you can just save it by pressing the plus button. The main things to change, um, if you, I, I would usually leave it on 
all objects instead of just selected objects. Um, just because I mess up a lot and I select the wrong objects or I fail to or something like that. And if you've deleted everything else, it doesn't really matter. Scale, I will probably always leave it one. Um, you can mess with that as well. Uh, when you import it into Unity, you can set the import scale so that it can fix any problems later on. You can also choose to not export camera or lamp. So even if you didn't remove it, it will ignore the... Um, it will ignore the uh, objects when it exports it. So whatever, you can just fix that by holding down shift and clicking these and you can select and deselect them. Under geometry, I'm not sure what the default settings are, but this is what they should be under armatures and under animation. So anyways, we got everything that we need here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit export FBX. And that is pretty much it. You can take that FBX file and you can dump it directly into Unity and it will work perfectly fine. The only difference is, let's go up to that directory and models. That's not it. There we go. Momiji. So you'll see here that there's no textures living in the directory with the actual PMX files. They're all in this text directory. You will need to copy and paste this any textures that were used in the model into uh, the Unity folder, the Unity project folder. So in my case, it would be here under avatars. Let's just go to Cerno, for example. You can see her textures are all living in here. Um, and then it will reference those uh, when it builds it. Um, now you may have some problems if it has Japanese names like this. Uh, I've installed the Japanese language pack. Um, if you have Japanese names for the files, for the textures, you may be for, in for a little bit of work if you don't want to install the language pack. Um, I would strongly recommend just installing the uh, locale, the app locale for Japan, and that'll help out a lot. Um, some models don't have this problem though, so it's not a really big deal. Anyways, once that's done, you can just drop it right in there, pull the FBX into Unity, and there you go. You're off to rigging and adding dynamic bones and avatar descriptors and all that fun stuff. Uh, but that is pretty much it.